Today, I'm going to take you in the gym and share with you what I do. So when I work out in the gym, I'll typically spend about an hour. I like to start my warm-up on the treadmill. You can choose any other cardio machines of your choice. Do a quick 5 to 10 minutes warm-up. Start slow and gradually increase your speed and pace. It is very important to get your muscles warmed up in order to have an effective training session. Plus, we do not want any injuries. So my fat-burning gym routine is going to combine superset training and also cardio training. It is the most efficient and fastest way to burn fat and build lean muscles. Once I'm all warmed up, I'm going to start at the strength training area. For the first circuit, I'm going to combine goblet squat with in and out jumps. So find a weight you're comfortable with and slowly progress by lifting heavier. I'm lifting about 16 kilos. Stand shoulder width apart, slowly squat as slow as you can and push yourself back up with your heels. Always keep your back straight, chest open and engage your core. Don't slouch or collapse your shoulders. Doing that would put too much strain on your lower back. So this workout works your entire legs and also core. So I'm doing each exercise for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest in between. Then it's straight to in and out jumps. Start by standing in a sumo squat position. Jump in and back into a sumo squat. Make sure you're squatting low and touching the floor. Again, keep your back straight, chest open and engage your core you will start to feel your legs burning and your heart pumping. Back to goblet squat. It's going to be a total of 8 intervals back to back with a very short rest in between to keep my heart rate constantly elevated. So one superset will take 8 minutes long. It's time to hit the treadmill. I'm going to run for 4 minutes long and increase the gradient at every minute. Adjust the speed according to your pace. So for the first minute, I'm starting at 0% gradient. On the second minute, I'm increasing it to 3% gradient. You can either maintain your current speed, which will force your legs to work a lot harder, or decrease the speed very slightly. On the third minute, increase by another 3 more percent to 6% gradient. I'm going to reduce my speed slightly. This increase of gradient is basically similar to running uphill. And on the final minute, let's bring it up to 9% gradient. It's the final minute. So keep running, keep pushing yourself, and don't stop until the very end. Woo! I'm going to catch a quick one minute breather, keep myself hydrated, and it's back to strength training. So I'm going to work on my chest and back. It's going to be a combination of bent over row and deadlift with push up and twist. Grab a pair of dumbbells go for a moderately heavy weight. I would say between 6 to 10 kilos each. You want to really work your muscles, but at the same time, you're able to maintain the workout for 4 sets. Stand shoulder width apart, keep your knees soft and bend slightly from your waist. Pull the dumbbells close to your belly and squeeze your back muscles. Then engage your core, straighten your body with a slight arch to work on your lower back muscles. Repeat for 45 seconds and it's straight to push up and twist. So keep your palms shoulder width apart in line with your chest. Lower your body, push yourself back up and twist to the right. Repeat and twist to the left. The twisting motion will engage your core to keep you balanced. So do this for 45 seconds, rest for 15 seconds in between and repeat the two exercises back to back for a total of 8 intervals. It's time to get back onto the treadmill. This time, I'm going to do speed interval running. So I'm starting the first minute by sprinting at my fastest speed. Remember to pace your breathing to help you run faster and longer. Then bring the speed down to either a slow jog or walk and recover on the second minute. Take this minute to really catch your breath, breathe deeply and bring your heart rate down slightly. On the third minute, I'm increasing the speed back into sprinting. Feel the burn, feel your heart rate pumping, focus on your goal and keep running. Now let's bring the speed down again on the final minute and slowly recover. For the third superset, I'm going to work on my shoulders and arms. It's a combination of bicep curls to shoulder press and bench dips. Grab a pair of lightweight dumbbells, I'd say between 3 to 5 kilos each, and lift heavier as you progress. Curl up, engage your biceps, twist and press the weights up to work on your shoulders. Keep your posture upright and avoid swaying your body. Don't rush the movements, break the moves down and you'll be working your muscles even more. So let's do that for 45 seconds and rest. 
Now I'm going to use a weight bench and place one dumbbell on the floor to perform elevated bench dips. So place your hands close to you flat on the bench with your fingers pointed forward. Lower your body down slowly until your elbows are 90 degrees. Breathe out as you push yourself back up. Remember to always keep your elbows close to your side and as you lower yourself, your body should always stay close to the bench. So I'm having both feet elevated to increase the difficulty of the workout. You can start by placing both feet on the ground and keep your knees slightly bended. That's one set done. Three more to go. If you struggle towards the last few reps, use your body weight momentum to help you push the dumbbells up. It's good to struggle towards the last few reps. This means you have really pushed your muscles to their best efforts. If it's too easy, it means your weights are too light. It's time to hit the treadmill for another 4 minutes. I'm going to repeat incline interval running. Even if I'm running at a slower pace, incline running is a lot tougher. It activates more muscles which also means more calories being burned. One final superset. Let's work on the core. I'm going to combine half V tucks with Spider-Man plank. Place both arms on the ground to support your upper body. Keep both legs straight, lift them off the ground and slowly lower them back down and repeat. You'll feel your lower abs engaged. Again, do this for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest before moving on to Spider-Man plank. This is my favorite move for killer abs. Start in a high plank position. Bring your right knee forward towards your elbow. Return and repeat on the other side. Now let's repeat both exercises for three more sets. I'm going to end the workout with another speed interval running. This is the final set. Start and sprint at your best speed. If you struggle to run for a long period of time, break your run into many sets. It is just as effective. To end my workout, I'm going to cool down with some stretches for about 10 minutes. So remember to keep breathing and bring your heart rate back down. Now that's a solid one hour workout. Don't feel intimidated by the weights. I want you to take this workout to the gym and add this into your routine. For best result, do this two to three times weekly on alternate days. So be sure to take pictures of yourself in the gym and tag me at Joanna Sa Official. All the best.